Hello everybody, my name is Lea Canella and I'm a postdoc at the Prompt Gamma Activation Analysis Facility here at the research reactor in uh, Munich at the Technical University in Munich. Neutron activation analysis is a radioanalytical method to determine the elemental composition of material. It's mainly used to determine trace amounts of elements and it is widely used in a lot of scientific fields. For example, geology, material science, archaeology, physics, chemistry and so on. The basic principle of neutron activation analysis is the neutron capture. So it works as follows. So we start from neutrons here that are fired at the samples and there they interact with the nucleus. A nucleus is defined by the number of protons, Z, and an atomic number, A, that is the sum of the protons and the neutrons together. After he received the neutrons, it goes into an excited state that is also called compound nucleus. that decays very quickly in a range of 10 to the minus 12, 10 to the minus 9 seconds to the lowest energy state. In this transition it emits prompt gamma radiation that, is, that has a very high energetic range. Up to 11 mega electron volts. After this stage, the nucleus can be a stable nucleus again or it can be a radioactive one, like in this case. And NAA works with radioactive nuclei. Uh, usually, the radioactive nucleus decay through the beta minus decay, that means a beta minus particles is emitted and a cascade of gamma rays are afterwards also emitted. And it is called delayed gamma radiation. NAA works with this delayed gamma radiation and the information we gain from this gamma radiation is the energy of the gamma rays that are characteristic for each element and that means that through the energy we can determine the elements inside a sample and the intensity of these uh, gamma rays are also proportional to the amount of the elements inside a sample. A complementary method to um, NAA is prompt gamma ray activation analysis that use the prompt gamma rays that are emitted from the compound nucleus. Prompt gamma activation analysis. Uh, with this method, um, the measurements are a little bit different because the gamma radiation is detected during the neutron irradiation. So uh, this brings a lower sensitivity respect to NAA. But the advantage of this method is that you can detect um, the elements that are going after the compound nucleus goes to a stable nucleus or for those uh, radioactive elements that doesn't emit a gamma cascade. Typical elements that are determined with PGA are low Z elements like for example hydrogen, nitrogen and boron. To come back to NAA, some uh, practical application of this method are for example in forensic science. The arsenicum can be detected in trace amount of arsenicum can be detected in hair after a poisoning. Or another application in archaeology, for example, is the determination of the trace element that are particular for uh, the determination of the geographical origin of artifacts.